I'm Roy. Here is a quick video on how you can save some time in Fusion 360 using patterns and rigid groups. Also making the assembly lighter with less joints. I need a washer and a screw for this stepper motor. One washer and one screw. For these parts I just use a normal rigid joint. The edge of the washer and since I have a slot here, I use the motor as a reference, like this. And then the screw joined to the washer. Now we're gonna do a pattern here. So go to create pattern, rectangular pattern. And we are going to change from faces to components. You can select the components in the browser, just by control clicking what you need. Or in the window, like this. Then we need to select direction, so click, select, and then you can use the axis or just an edge. Let's use an edge here. And then a secondary edge, like this. Then we want to go down, and we want to go to the left. We're also going to change from three components, which is default, to two components. And just figure out the distance, and just set the distance like this. And OK. This looks fine, but these parts are not fixed. Rather than joining all these components, we can make a rigid group. Just select all the components in the browser you want to make rigid. Right click and go rigid group. Just click yes and then OK. Now these components are fixed. That was just a quick tip from me today which can be useful when making assemblies in Fusion 360. That's all. Like, share and subscribe. See you guys soon.